Okay, Snowy, you are still around. Do us a favor, Mr. Snowy. We, we do have an announcement that we posted on the forums recently. Um, why don't you, as a moderator here, uh, why don't you post a link to that announcement? Because I probably should announce uh, we do have an ongoing staff drive right now. And I, I would be remiss if I didn't actually mention that. Well, I got Honchkrow in the front, so taking this one out. Yes, very, very, very magical, Derp. Go for it, DN. <laughs> yeah, good. No, look, DN. You, you, DN, you know who applied to the staff drive? Ledic did. <laughs> Every year, like clockwork. Derp, we'll talk about that off-stream. But I've got stories. Yeah, no, I'm... I'm look, Deanna, I'm surprised every morning that the snow... Uh, that, 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 that the sun comes up. Yes, do do what Snowy says. Go go join the crazy. <laughs> All right. So you've got the Y noon and the Skarmory. Dn, I would not ask you to return to this. I'm just saying, I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention it at least once during my stream. Because technically the forums are looking for staff members, and I am head of the forums. Uh, this, by the way, Raven Razel, that's the reason why I didn't stream last Thursday, is because we were trying to hammer out a lot of the final details for the staff drive. Because uh, I did intend to stream last Thursday, and then ultimately... Um, that was actually when I had to work on finalizing. <laughs> yeah, Nightbot wants to join staff. <laughs> uh, but no, I had to work on finalizing the um, the applications and double, ch you know, last minute double checks on form logic and things like that. So that's all done. I was hoping that we'd have the uh, apps out up and ready by Sunday morning so that I could have announced that at my stream on Sunday. Alas, no. But yes, the, the staff drive is ongoing now. Uh, and I would be remiss if I did not mention it. Also, do I want to know what Nightbot did now? I probably don't want to know what Nightbot did now. <laughs> yeah, well. Look. I'm not saying it's impossible. On the other hand, it will be what it will be. That's probably at least a hundred steps, right? Okay. I know! Look, I know, DN. That's that is one of my favorite stories of all time. That that is one of my favorite stories of all time. That's just th 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 that that is phenomenal.
Anyway, I already submitted an application to the staff drive. I should be hearing back within a few days saying that I'm fired. <laughs> Ooh, it hung on. But it got confused! Wait, I thought Slowbro had own tempo so it couldn't be confused. Now I'm confused. Uh, I did see... I th well... G-Max Battle Royale. I don't think I saw that, Swifty. Yeah, but CDN, if I do that, then I can't stream here anymore. And everyone loses entertainment. Especially me. I mean, what will I do on my Sunday mornings, Tuesday nights, and Thursday nights if I'm not streaming? Actually have a life? Yeah, but nobody knows who I am. Who won, Swifty? Ah, but Snowy, you can't apply for multimedia. DN, I'm not quitting. <laughs> but Snowy, you, you can't apply to multimedia. You, you can apply to, um... Well, you can apply to the forums. You can apply to Bulba News, you can apply to Bulbapedia, and I believe... You can apply to Discord, too, but I wouldn't recommend it, because Derp is there. DN, Maniacal is in my name. <laughs> is in my name. No, Snowy, you can't. I mean, first of all, you're already part of multimedia. Second of all, um, that we actually tend to hire from within as opposed to from without. Without. Um. And by the way, Derp, you can tell people not to apply to the forums because I'm there. It would be true. To be fair, I happen to think multimedia is pretty neat. <laughs> but that's because I get to do stuff like this and still call it working for Bulba Garden. Eh, sort of. Snowy is supposedly helping out soon. I mean, after all, I don't intend to stream Legends RCS. Go apply to the game corner, Snowy. I'm pretty sure they'll have you. Also, DN, don't discount my man Cody. Cody does good work even if he doesn't have his own series. Cody is in fact helping me out get all of these Twitch VODs converted over to YouTube. I'll ice beam for the hell of it. And Cap still shows up and does stuff on occasion. But as far as, you know, as uh, well, also Roadhawk's got the YouTube stuff that he's doing. So, you know, multimedia is not just a one man show. Good. Snowy, as soon as you are ready and at your convenience. Uh, you, you are absolutely welcome to start up either a YouTube series or a Twitch series of Legends Arceus. I leave that one to you. As for me, like I said, this is most likely my penultimate episode. Um, look, DN, you know why it was fuchsia beforehand, because Matt's favorite color is pink. But anyway, um...
What was I gonna say? Oh, I probably didn't even need to heal. Oh well. But yeah, so this is very likely the, the penultimate... I, I wouldn't say that, Dien. He was the one who brought me into multimedia. And I also think he was the one who hired Cody, so... While his taste can be legendarily bad, um... It can be... Yeah, well, he hired you as well, so... His taste can be legendarily bad, but it can also be legendarily good as well. On occasion. Now, the question is, who hired me as a Bulba Garden staff member in the first place, and are they really that insane? And the answer is, that would be Enzap, and yes, he is. <laughs> anyway, I think that's worked out relatively well for me. I've had my fun, any- oh, hey, not using belly drum. To be fair, I'm pretty boring too, DN. I might have a username that's Maniacal Engineer, but I'm not, uh... I'm not all that interesting. Like, th this is my life. And as, as far as this particular series goes, this actually probably is my penultimate episode. In which case, I've got to figure out what the heck I'm doing after this. And is there truly going to be a life after this particular stream? It's a very good question. I mean... Raven Razel, if I actually had a life, would I be here streaming? <laughs> yeah, well, look, and, and to be fair, Snowy, I also still do have undue influence in social media, too. So, <laughs> that's, um, good for you, Snowy. Anyway, so... What, what I am currently planning on doing after this series has run its course, which, if all goes well, I will be finishing up this series uh, with a Thursday night stream this week and completing my Elite Four rematches uh, and beat Cynthia yet again. Um, if all goes well and I finish my series then, uh, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take a break for a little while. Just because even I get tired of streaming every once in a while. Uh, Derp, I believe there will be a Shining Pearl series at some point in the future. Also done by Snowy. And also, to be fair, um, he's probably going to do that for YouTube. So yes, there will be Shining Pearl. Not immediately. Legends Arceus takes priority over that. But me, I, I think I'm actually... After this, I think I'm done with Sinnoh for a little while. Believe it or not. Derp, I'm counting on it. Bad singing gets lots of views. Two... Wait. Hold on, Snowy. Two series? So you're, you're actually going to do the Shining Pearl at the same time as you're doing Legends RCS? I commend you if you can. Actually, Snowy... Oh, that sounds fun, Dian. Good luck. Uh, and good night. Thank you for stopping by.
Okay, look, Snowy. I, I have a, uh... An idea. Uh, well, first of all, I don't even know if you can do a Nuzlocke for Legends. If the trainer dies, you have to restart. <laughs> oh, good lord. Yes, my idea, Snowy. If you're going to be doing your Shining Pearl playthrough... And if memory serves, you were planning on doing a uh, mono water type run through of Shining Pearl, correct? Gotta wait until he gets the lag. Or, more accurately, until the lag stops and, and Snowy responds. Snowy, are you... Oh, okay, good. So you're doing a mono water type run of Shining Pearl. That may actually answer my question for what I'm doing next. I may do a, a mono water type run through also, except I would be doing Alpha Sapphire. So we could both be running through games with water types at the same time. That's a good question, Salty Apple. I was literally just wondering what time it was myself. Uh, looks like I've been going for a little over an hour and a half. So I'd assume it's somewhere around 8.30. My time, anyway. That sounds... Look, what I, what I will probably do, though, as far as figuring out what my next series is going to be, is I will probably just put it up to a vote on Bulba Garden's Twitter channel. Because uh, I've got... A monotype challenge in mind. I've got a solo run challenge in time. Uh, 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 the, the solo run challenge in mind, and then I've also got an egg lock challenge in mind. So I'll put. I'll probably put it up for a vote between the egg lock, the monotype challenge, and the solo run, which people want to see, and that that will be my next series once I'm done with this one. And probably after a bit of a break. But I, I do have to think about what I'm doing after this series now, because as fun as it's been, this is almost over. And it, it does seem like I've gained some following while I've been doing this, so actually giving people the opportunity to vote on what it is that I do next seems like a sporting thing to do. That's true. Your name is in the application, Derp. My name isn't. I'm, I'm not that important. <laughs> Hurricane... No, not Hurricane. Surf. surf -icane. That sounds fun, Snowy. Oh, derp. No, I actually hid Archaic's name in the application. You've got to find it, though. Uh, what suggestion, Salty Apples? Well, I'll give you a hint, Derp. Which application do you actually think I worked on? <laughs> I 
The answer, of course, is it would not be one of those, because that's exactly what people would expect. I mean, look, if I ultimately do a Nuzlocke, I'm pretty sure I know what game I would Nuzlocke. If only to prove that I can do it better than Snowy. Not Legends. And certainly not Let's Go Pikachu Eevee. I am not touching those games. Anyway, Salty Apple, what was your... I, I, I do seem to recall you said you had a suggestion for the Twitter poll. I, I think I may have missed it, but... <laughs> a mustache root. <laughs> Look, that's a, a fun idea, Salty Apples. Uh, but the idea that I had for Pokemon Sword was an egg lock, which I think might be slightly more fun. So the egg lock would basically mean that I have to use Pokemon that trainers, um... That, 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 well, not trainers, that, that random people like Snowy send me. And Snowy is going to send me something that I probably won't like to use. Snowy, I can't level cap if the if, if level capping doesn't make sense. Over leveling and just plowing through things is a legit strategy for a Nuzlocke. You just don't like that I thought of it first. Yeah, see, cutesy Pokemon. When do I ever use... When do I ever use cutesy Pokemon? I never use cutesy Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon is a metal spider robot critter. Killer death robot supercomputer. I am not exactly someone who uses cutesy Pokemon. But anyway, figuring out... Figuring out which Pokémon I'm gonna... or not which Pokémon, which series or what series I'm gonna do next... It'll take a little while. Let me finish this one, let me enjoy this one... Till the last. And I will. Full odds, shiny only Nuzlocke. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool, Salty Apples. I don't know if I would have the patience for that. Yeah, you'll note Dr. Doof is not actually on my team, Snowy. Dr. Doof is not even an HM slave. <laughs> I think Dr. Doof is still in the frickin' daycare. The forum app is so long because I wrote it, derp. Also because there are several different sections that um, you, you can apply to, and questions are different from section to section. Discord is just kind of Discord. You moderate the whole thing or you don't moderate the whole thing. Good God, Salty Apples, that is dedication. I, I, I salute you. Yes, Derp, if you don't moderate the Discord server, you get... Because that's why you got hired. Alright, let's battle you again. I'm probably getting tired of battling these same three trainers over and over again. I might try to hit up a different spot in a bit. But, I think before I get too bogged down and... I, I might take a quick break after I finish battling Daisy. First of all, so that I can actually give my Joy-Con a chance to charge up, because... I actually think it really is dying, considering the lag between what I'm doing 
with the Joy-Con and what's actually happening on screen. And second of all, I kind of do need a break anyway, just because my leg still hasn't fully recovered from my slip and fall on the ice. Now this is this is new, Derp. This is not like a standard Joy-Con drift issue. This is like a, a lag issue. And I'd wager it's just because they're they're almost dead as far as the battery goes. But I am getting up there, right? Like all my Pokemon are over level 80. I'm looking to get to 85 at least. So I may I may finish this. Like, I, I may actually, uh... Quiet, you. Yeah, no, the important thing for the Egglock is to use Pokémon that I would not necessarily use otherwise. That's the idea of a Nuzlocke, that's the idea of a, uh... of an Egglock. So, absolutely, you know, give me something that I would not normally use on my own. Fine, I... I Look, it is. I, I will acknowledge that. Also, I'm going to take that break that I said that I was going to take, because the Joy-Con is dying. Yes, a lock lock where I can only use Clef Key. That actually sounds kind of... Well, that's a solo run, then, unless I'm allowed to have a team of six Clef Key. In which case, it's technically not a solo run, but... I can have all the Klefki. <laughs> I'll think about it, Derp. I will think about it. Meantime, though, I do need to get up and walk around for a bit, because my leg is pretty sore. And... Snowy, in the meantime, keeps spamming that, that staff drive link. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, be right back. All right, I'm back. What did I miss? Did I get to level 85 yet? No, I just lost my entire audience. That's what happened. Oh, hello, derp. What did I miss? Anything earth-shattering? Alright, let's fly... Let's fly here. Resort area. See if I can't get some good trainers to the north of the resort area. <laughs> Pretty sure there are a few. Good! Glad to see you're still here, Salty Apples. Well, these look like a couple of unsuspecting saps. I mean, victims. I mean... Trainers. Ace Trainer Dana. Mighty Anna, huh? That... That has Intimidate, I think? I'll remember. If it does, it's slower than Serzaki. Yep, okay, it does have Intimidate. Does not matter, Serzaki faster. And does not use physical attack anyway. Boom. Bye! Why do Ace Trainers have only two Pokémon? Ace Trainers should have more than two Pokémon. Why is that not fully evolved? Yes, Salty Apples. These are unsuspecting saps. I mean, victims. I mean... Yeah. Y you, you know what I mean. All in all, they're just more bricks in the wall. All right, Felix, what do you got for me? The Dusk Lops. I was battling a Dusk Noir earlier. I am not afraid of this Dusk Lops. Unless you happen to have an Eviolite. 
But you're just a random trainer, so you won't have a Eviolite. Probably. No, I know I was right the first time, Salty Apples. These truly are unsuspecting saps. Ooh, Salamence. Well, you know what? You really are an unsuspecting sap, because Sir Zaki's got Ice Beam. <laughs> Taken out by a pelican. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you have made the pelican stronger. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that expression. Anyway, let's see if I can't find some more victims. A weeping bell! A weeping bell! That's probably not worth my time. Yeah, it's level 51. Might as well. Yeah, see, that, that did barely anything, so it was not really worth my time. Any more victims hanging around here? Gloom! I suppose if Weepin' Bell was around, I, it was inevitable that Gloom was here, but... Eh. Well, that at least got Ball Eater up to level 82. Let's see. Oh, look! Another victim. And I think... Think I can get both of these on screen at the same time? Ah, oh, battery isn't charged enough. 17. That should be more than enough. Not that, it's... I'm so used to Y being the right button for that. No trainers in range. I can see one over here, and I can see one down here. Don't you tell me there's no trainers in range. Ooh, Aria knows. Look, banter is what I do. It's apparently something that I'm decently good at, and probably why people actually come and watch my streams. <laughs> It, it sometimes gets better if Snowy's hanging around, because he and I just play well with each other, but, um... Well, for some reason, Snowy does not really feel like, uh, hanging out in voice chat this evening. That's okay, though. I can stay here by myself as long as I've got you people hanging out in chat with me. Means I won't go truly insane. <laughs> Well, I'm hanging out here. <laughs> After all, it, it, it's bad if I'm all by myself and I've got no one to talk to and I'm just stuck here in my basement talking to myself. I might go crazy. Oh, wait, I already am crazy. <laughs> Never mind, then. We're safe. I should have guillotined. Oh, well. After all, it may have intimidated me, but Guillotine is not affected by Intimidate. <laughs> well, uh... I for God's sakes. People need to sleep! I don't know why people refuse to sleep and just decide to... Look, it's not like the stream won't... Well, 
okay, I won't be live streaming then, but it's not like you won't be able to to watch the stream or, or, or this series on YouTube at some point later on down the road. Although I suppose there is something to be said. Uh, what, I have no idea, but I suppose there is something to be said for actually interacting with me, apparently. <laughs> uh, I don't get it, but I also have to live with myself, so... <laughs> None of you have to live with me. You all the the, the 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 small glimpses you get into my life from these streams are um, probably enjoyable. But if you had to live with me day in and day out, let me put it this way: I I can't uh, I can't well I I get very tedious sometimes to myself. Then again, you can almost say that of anybody. Alright, let's battle these schmoes again. 45! 45 steps to recharge the battery. I mean, at least it's a battery charged by kinetic energy, which is pretty cool, but... Hey, wait a minute. There was another guy in a pool earlier who challenged me to a battle. Will this guy challenge me to a battle now? Is this also Game Freak Morimoto? No. That's a shame. <laughs> I wish Game Freak... I, I wish Morimoto put himself in two places at once. Also, to be fair, he almost could have. And in his other team, he could have had... Well, four evolutions, because there were seven as of this generation. Dusclops. Dusclops does not levitate, so Earthquake will work. Acrobatics will work. Acrobatics is more powerful, since I am not holding an item. Takes care of that. And here comes Salamence. Oh no, I'm intimidated. Whatever will I do? Well, guess what? Intimidate does not affect Guillotine. <laughs> Take that, you poltroon! <laughs> I just, I love Guillotine. It is kind of stupid to have that when I'm going into the Elite Four. On the other hand, it is so much fun. Alright, let me, uh... Let me change out this held item, because I don't think you need the Lucky Egg anymore. Give you the Poison Barb back. And who do we want to give that lucky egg to? Who's going to be the lucky individual with the lucky egg? <laughs> yes! Wah! <laughs> Taste the pain! <laughs> Wait, where did the lucky egg go? Okay. This is not fun. Did I just lose the lucky egg? Okay, Derp. Thanks for stopping by. Where did... No? Oh, there's the lucky egg. Thank God. No. Hang on. I've actually got to give that to someone else. There we go. We'll give that to Ali Capona. Got to make sure to give that the razor, uh, the razor claw back again because Ali Capona with that razor claw is unstoppable with the crits. Which, of course, is the entire point of having an Ali Capona on your team. 
And again, since Ally Capona is no longer burdened by its timid nature, that just makes its critical hits hit even harder. Or her critical hits hit even harder. Alright, your turn. You may see what I have done with my Pokémon. I have transformed it into a Gliscor. Yeah. Oh, I'm not- I, I have not been here. Look, I, I, I have not actually been here the whole time. This has been a recording this whole time, Salty Apples. You intimidated me. I do not appreciate being intimidated! Never! Never! <laughs> Alright. And Curlia... Why the hell not? Another guillotine! <laughs> Off with your head! <laughs> it's to the chopping block with you. Wow. Man, look at those defenses on Dr. Eggman. I'm gonna need them. <laughs> yes, the betrayal. <laughs> the biggest betrayal is the fact that I have never... I, I was never here at all. Like, this whole series has just been one lo a long recording that somehow has worked together with the comments that happen in real time. But nobody's supposed to know that. All right, we're 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 getting somewhere. I think yeah, no, 82 for everyone except for Ally Capona, and then Eggman and Countess 12 are level 84 apiece. I, I would not mind, oh, certainly again, Dr. Eggman, and even Countess 12, just because Countess 12 has crazy speed. So I would not mind if the two of them end up a little bit more level than the other members of my team. That having been said... Kasha is my starter Pokemon. Yeah, no, it's it's just been one very long Zoom call. Hey, Snowy, are you actually still here? Or did you skip out while I was taking a break? Because if you're still here, Snowy, I really wouldn't mind company in the voice chat. And you haven't been in voice chat in a while, I, I might point out. Close combat takes care of this one. Oh, damn that sucker punch. It did nothing, mind. Silly Mighty Anna. Kicks her for trids. Although you did a punch. No How did you do a punch? You don't have hands! That is actually a very good question. I almost want to think U-Turn can KO this thing. Let me try it. That sounds fun. Yep. Yes, my love of Pokemon really shows. But I'm getting bored of battling you and the other guy over here. Never seems to actually want to battle. So, I'm going to go north and see if I can't find some more victims. Unsuspecting fools. Walking around with their Pokemon in the levels 50s and 60s while mine are all in the 80s.
Bye. <laughs> There goes Scyther, there goes my HP, and there goes the HP being recovered ever so slightly. I'm surprised Scyther gives such low experience yield. Oh, right, this route. That is a horrible route. Do not like it. Uh, so, we're, so we're training for my Elite Four rematch, Salty Apples. Cynthia's got a level 88 Garchomp, and I am not ready for it. So the ultimate goal here is to get my team, which is these six Pokemon, up to at least level 85. Trap Inch! I'm not going to be able to get all the way up to 85 on just Trap Inch! As Admiral Akbar would say, it's a trap inch. I wish Gliscor had Hyper Cutter or Poison Heal. Oh well. Just beat it up. Give me a Flygon or something. At least that would be a challenge. I mean, look at that. That gave less experience than the wild Pokemon in this area. Vibrava. I mean, it's slightly better. Still not great. The Sandstorm did more damage than this trainer did. I'm tired of needing to train. I wish I could just snap my fingers and suddenly be level 85. But yeah, no, don't want to train in the Sandstorm route. You people bore me. Hmm. I wish these trainers had more than one Pokemon, or more than two Pokemon. I mean, again, I guess there are still the, uh, remaining gym rematches that I could do, but I don't want to do Volkner, Candice, or Rourke. And Byron is just a pain. And who's left after that? That's Crash or Wake. No, I, I don't have good things to use against Crash or Wake if I'm not using... Uh, if, if I'm not using Fan Rotom or uh, Banana Brain. You I was hoping to see. Because that Salamence actually does give out a decent amount of experience. It being a pseudo-legendary and all. Uh, so, Volkner is, um, electric type, Rourke is rock type, and I am extremely weak to both of them. Well, no, Volkner is more of a threat than Rourke. Volkner is... 
a massive threat. Like, Volkner is one of those things where I believe... I, I... No, I actually... I think the first time I challenged him... Ooh, I don't remember. I know the first time I challenged him for rematches I lost. But I'm trying to remember. I may have actually lost to him as an actual gym battle. But yeah, no, Candace is a pain, because Ice-type, I'm still weak to that, plus she's got all that hail stuff, which I hate to deal with. Um, and then, like, the, the, the only one that I'm sort of neutral to is Crash or Wake, and even then, all his Water-types know Ice-type moves. Look, I don't know if Volkner... <laughs> I don't know if I would say that about Volkner, but he's, he's bad for my team. Like, Yes, I have Glyscore. Volkner starts out with a Pelipper. And somehow his Pelipper just manages to do what other Pelippers can't. Ah, good. Let's do this again. So no more gym rematches today. It's just, it's, it's not a great idea for me to do. I mean, even Fantina, which I was neutral to. Like, even Fantina, which I was neutral to, was, uh... Well, he uses rock steel types or steel rock types. Like I, I, I battled Byron, and all of his Pokemon are steel type. Just some of them have that rock typing as well, which, by the way, means you can hit him for quad effective uh, fighting or ground type damage. And here comes the Salamence. Here comes the Intimidate that I just don't actually care about. And here comes a Brave Bird to its face. Huzzah. Who would have seen that one coming? Yes, I remember the Azumarill Trainer in his gym. I will say the gym trainers in this game had some interesting types on hand. Which is not a terrible thing, mind you. It It is kind of... Okay, I mean, look. If you go to the Bulb Garden YouTube channel, you watch my Pokemon Platinum Let's Play, because, surprise, I did a Pokemon Platinum Let's Play. Yes, I like Sinnoh games, why do you ask? Uh, but if you go to my Pokemon Platinum Let's Play, and you watch that, Volkner was an extremely disappointing gym in that game. Like, in this game, he was the most terrifying gym, for obvious reasons. But, in, in Platinum... He and Flint were just so disappointing. So in some ways, it's not a terrible thing when gym leaders and gym trainers use Pokemon of different types than their specialty type. Right? It gives their team more of a variety, and it means that you don't end up crushing their team with, you know, by, by exploiting one weakness. You know, which I I can appreciate. On the other hand, it does make it very annoying when you're trying to rematch Volkner. You're counting on Glyscore to get you through, and he starts out with a frickin' Pelipper. Two 
To be fair, though, in Platinum, when you're rematching Volkner, his Lantern is also a, a Gliscor killer, so... That's... fair. Oh, good. Controller battery dying again. I did not actually mean to go in there. Good, let's battle, lady. This lady is a glutton for punishment. Yes, yes, Mighty Anna is not so mighty after all. You know, I did actually consider not streaming this grinding session and just grinding to level 85 off-screen. But, first of all, I would not have had the time to do so between Sunday and today. And second of all, it's a lot less boring if I'm grinding and there's actually people that I'm talking to. So I do appreciate having you all around in the, in, in the uh, chat, and I did appreciate when Derp and Snowy and everyone else that had been here was here. Does make these tedious parts of the game a little less tedious. We're getting there. At a glacier's pace, but we're getting there. Let's see if I can think of another place I want to go. Well, I don't want to battle Volkner, but the trainer's on Route 222. No, thank you, Salty Apples. I, I mean it. it. It really makes things a lot better that, that y'all are here. And I really do enjoy spending time with y'all and, and chatting. Anyway, I think the trainers on Route 222 may be a wee bit weaker than the trainers in the battle area, of course, but I can probably get more of them on screen at the same time than I can on the other routes, so just gonna make life a little bit easier in that regard. Yeah, see here I can get... Let me actually ditch that all together. I said, let me ditch that all together. The other... Tr what? That's... That's... Not good. There were like five of them. How are they not ready for battle when there were so many of them? Alright, let's get that fisherman in the corner. Wait just a little longer for the cop to be on screen a, a bit better. Just the one guy. Alright, well... You know, I did say earlier I'm a terrible singer, but I kinda have to. Oh, we'll ride upon the sea in a boat, just you and me. That's the way of the sailor, oh, way of the sailor. You sing too. I did, and I broke everybody's ears. So thank you very much. Everyone is leaving in droves. Nobody wants to hear... No, nobody wants to hear me stream, and nobody wants to be here anymore because of that. Now, what level is this Mantine? 54! Okay! That's not as low leveled as I thought. This guy must have leveled up since the last time. That's, look, Raven, Razel, that's part of the reason why we exist. Oh god, Salty Apples, don't do that! <laughs> don't do that! <laughs> but no, look, 
part of what we as Bulba Garden staff members are supposed to do is we're supposed to actually engage with the community. I don't, you know, I, I might be the big bad head administrator of the Bulba Garden forums, but I don't want to be this mystery shadow figure that nobody actually knows. Right? The whole point of me being me and me being the head administrator is because I'm, well, okay, I'm actually an introvert IRL, but, like, I actually can be an outgoing individual and I do engage with the community. And, you know, again, we, we do have our occasional uh, staff events like April Fool's Day and the Halloween shtick that we do every year, uh, which is always fun. And, the, you know, again, the, that that is for staff amusement, too. You know, like the April... We all enjoy our, our good April Fool's Day pranks and things like that. But that is also meant as a way to engage with the community. One of the... You know, I mean, if, if you actually go and you, you, you check the forum application staff, or the forum staff application, you'll see one of the things that I put down, and, well, technically archaic, and I put down on the list of responsibilities is we do want them, you know, we do want moderators to be engaged with the community. We do, you know, we don't want to be these mysterious shadow figures ruling everything behind the curtain, right? I am not the Wizard of Oz. If anything, I'm the Wizard of Odd. So yeah, no, this is this is something fun and enjoyable that I like to do. And I'm I'm actually very glad that there are people who enjoy it. Aside from me. Because I knew I would enjoy it. Man, these guys are boring as hell. Hey, this is a good route to be on for a Two's day. <laughs> too many twos. Too, too, too many. Ah, good. At least two of them now. I will not sing your line again. Pokemon is an excellent safe haven. Pokemon is also, I think, the only franchise that I actually game in anymore. Like, I, I don't game in very many other franchises, if any, at this point. And most of the other fran... Well, okay, the other franchises that I game in, which are still few and far between, it, it it's mostly games that are, like, over a decade old at this point. Like, one of my favorite games is Star Trek Armada, and that's over 20 years old at this point. And then another of my favorite games is Civilization 3, which is also over 20 years old at this point. <laughs> Alright, here we go again. Oh, we'll ride upon the sea. In a boat. Just you and me. That's the way of the sailor. Way of the sailor. You sing too. And not like William Shatner. <laughs> I was hoping this would be a faster way to get experience, but if that little kid's still going to be in the level 40s... I mean, this guy had his team change since the last time I battled him, but the other guy did not. Yeah, so... I don't know how old Grand Theft Auto 4 is, but I do imagine that it's fairly old at this point. Look, there, there is definitely something to be said about the charm of some of these older games compared to their newer predecessors. I mean, I, I still like Platinum better than I like this game. And I'm not ashamed to say that. 
I, I am also not ashamed to say that I like this game, though. Because I do like this game. It has its faults, and I do think Platinum is better. But this is a th this has been a fun ride with this game, and I I am sad to see that this series is coming to a close. But you know, eventually all series will end. <laughs> That's just kind of how these things go. <laughs>